Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we learn count sort this is another video in the free dsa series that we are building for you so that you thrive high in your career fine so i'll straight away dive in deep into count sort and let's understand what's it fine so i'll take an array for the example and i'll write some random values into it fine so i'll say 2 4 2 3 1 5 8 fine and let's say i have one more element which is again 3 fine so in this case if you carefully see i have eight elements in my array right while checking for the count sort what you do is you try and sort the array but why do we need this when there are multiple occurrences of one element in your array you need to get the count of the frequency of elements number 1 number 2 is position of elements in sorted array so to answer these two questions or to address these two problems you use count sort fine now first what i'll do is i'll create a frequency array an array which will store the frequency of these elements so what i'll do is from the minimum element to the maximum element that would be my range for this array if you carefully see here minimum element is 1 and maximum element is 8 so what i'll do will i'll start from 1 2 and then 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 and then 8 pardon not here so what are these numbers representing these numbers are representing the values in array fine values or you can say elements in array fine so for one if you see the occurrence is once so frequency is one this is this array is frequency array fine you can also name it as count array or whatever you want fine so this is frequency array in this one is occurring once so i wrote one when you come to 2 you find it that it is occurring twice you write 2 when you come to 3 you find that it is again occurring twice so the occurrence is twice so frequency is 2 when you come to 4 it is occurring once here so i write 1 when you come to 5 again it is occurring once so 1 is the frequency 6 is not occurring in this array so 0 7 is also not occurring so 0 8 is occurring once so 1 so this is my frequency array now what i'll do is i'll create another array from this which is called as prefix sum array there are a lot of other fancy names as well prefix sum array is also a fancy name fancy name hi hai what we are doing in that array is you keep on adding subsequently the values that are present in a particular memory location and before that what i'm saying is frequencies ko add on karte chale jao and then create an array i'll show you what i'm saying create an array like this so 3 3 6 and 2 8 fine so what i'll do is here take the value as it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and these are the values in array fine these indices fine so these are here take the value as it is now in the next section what you do is add this one with this and then write 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 0 is again 7 7 plus 0 is again 7 7 plus 1 is 8 fine so this is called as prefix sum array fine however when we we'll implement the code what we'll do is we'll use this array only as the prefix sum array what we'll do is we'll 
अपडेट द फ्रीक्वेंसी आ रहे ओनली और आई कॉल इट काउंट आ रहे देर वट आई डू इज आई अपडेट द वैल्यूज हेयर ओनली एंड मेक इट द प्रीफिक्स सम आ रहे फाइन नाउ वट यू डू विद दिस प्रीफिक्स सम आ रहे यू इमीडिएटली डिक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू बाय वन ऑफ एवरी ब्लॉक वट आई एम से यू क्रिएट दिस यू अपडेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस एर एज अ डिक्रीमेंटेड वर्जन ऑफ एवरी वैल्यू सेव फॉर वन यू डिक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन जीरो यू डिक्रीमेंट थ्री बाय वन टू देन फोर देन फाइव देन सिक्स देन सिक्स देन सिक्स एंड देन सेवन फाइन यू गेट इट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट नाउ वेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू सॉर्ट दी आर ए आउट नाउ वेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू सॉर्ट दी आर ए आउट नाउ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग इज डन सो वट आई शुड डू इज I'll remove this array. I'll now remove this, or wait. I'll move to next slide and I'll show it there. Fine. So see one thing carefully that you have this as the final updated array in the prefix sum array. Fine. So in this basically the final updated values are this. Now what you have to do is you initialize a pointer here. Start traversing this array in the reverse order. from the last element to the first element and all you need to do is check the occurrence fine check the occurrence of this element say for 3 you check what is the position now this will tell the correct position for 3 the index 4 should be the correct position i'll tell you what i'm saying say i made a new output array this is the output array so in this i made a new array and i had eight elements right so i'll have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 these are the indices now or a single one is called index when you have multiple of them you have indices fine so now what i'll try and do is i started traversing this reverse for 3 check in this where is 3 here is 3 fine So for three, the correct position is four. So what I'll do is, I'll go ahead to four. I'll write three here, and I'll decrement the value by one. So now this becomes three. Fine. Now if I go to the, I move the pointer further. You come here, fine, and you start figuring out where eight should be. So for eight, the index seven is the correct location. So what I'll do is, I'll Put eight as the seventh index, and I decrement it by one. Now, pointer moves further. Fine, pointer moves further. From now onwards, I'll cut out the pointer and move. Fine. So for five, if you correctly see here, for five, six is the correct location. So what I'll do is, I go ahead at six. I'll put five. Fine, and here i'll decrement the value now i move further for one if you see zero is the correct position so i go ahead just a minute and here i put one and you can still decrement this and make it minus 1 now again the pointer moves further for 3 again now if i check the updated value was 3 i had already decremented it so it will come at this particular location and i'll decrement it again this becomes 2 now the pointer moves further for 2 i'll check for 2 the value is 2 only so at index 2 i put the value 2 and i decrement it and it becomes 1 then for 4 if you see carefully for fourth fifth index is the correct value so at the index 5 i'll put the value 4 and then the pointer moves further so 2 is the last element left and for this updated value is 1 so at index 1 i put 2 again and now if you see the array is finally sorted and you have the occurrences of the particular element as well clearly depicted in this array fine so this is a sorted array now and this is what exactly count sort does itna hi account sort 
exact implementation will happen in the code nothing will change in the code fine so this much only is count sort in the next part we'll understand that how count sort is implemented in the code version this is a very easy algorithm if you're facing any trouble understanding it go ahead comment below i'll answer in comments and the best benefit of commenting is that you might stand a chance to win prep insta prime subscription for free so go ahead comment it out also do not miss on following these social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update fine you can find them in description and whatever good you find in this series whatever you learn in this series go ahead teach it to your juniors your seniors your peers whoever needs this fine spread this information keep doing good for people good will come back to you that's all for today thank you